My enthusiasm for Porsche really did start with the 356. I remember the exact moment when I first saw one. It was a forum, a Volkswagen forum, and I was trawling through pictures of barn find cars. And I found a photo of two vehicles, one being a Carmen Gear and the other a vehicle I didn't recognize. But it looked similar to a Volkswagen. So I did some research and eventually found out that that was a 356. And that was back in 2008. And ever since then, that had been the goal. Owning a 356 is, is a little bit different to previous cars I've owned. It doesn't really have the same following of say a, a Volkswagen or a, or a 911 or, or similar. It's, it's a little bit of an outsider. It's a bit quirky. It doesn't really have, uh, there's not really a logical reason to buy a 356. You know, they're not particularly powerful. Um, they're not quite as recognizable as say a 911, yet they're still such a wonderful and underrated vehicle. Then the engine's been completely rebuilt, tuned up, it's got a new gearbox, all the running gear has been replaced, it's now on disc brakes, it's had a new steering box, all the steering has been rebuilt, it's had electrical work, there's not much on the car that hasn't been touched, in fact the only thing I'd say that is still as it was is the paintwork. My advice for anyone that's looking for a 356 or considering one is just ignore the people that tell you that you won't enjoy it because I had a load of people telling me that I wouldn't enjoy it as much as a 911 or it wouldn't drive as good as my old 912 and with work this vehicle is one of my absolute favorite drivers I've ever owned. Owning the 356 is an absolute joy like I've made many friends through conversations about the car I've got people on the other side of the world who I talk to about these vehicles. I love every dent and ding and scratch that's on this thing. I love that I don't have to worry about it. I've got two young kids and they can climb on it, sit on it and do whatever they want because it's there to be enjoyed. It's there to be something fun, not something that they can't go near. My attitude towards the vehicle is one day it will be theirs and I want them to get to know it as best they can. I want them to have as many happy memories as possible with the vehicle. You know, not memories of me saying don't touch that because you're going to scratch it, but memories where we just go and do what we want. We go and go for a nice drive or I pick them up from school in it, which they absolutely love. I've taken the car to a, to a good handful of events. It's done Megaphonics a couple of times. I've done my own events, Classics at the Clubhouse and West Bucks Cars and Coffee. You know, I've driven it around the south of the UK, I've been to see friends. There's loads I want to do with the car and I really don't want to hold back. I absolutely love the car community. Um, many of my best friends I've made through old cars, through old Volkswagens and old Porsches. I think we all share this passion for vehicles and I think it's it's something fantastic. I think it's a wonderful community.